Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Now here are the top advices from me to your side for this new year 2024. Uh, so let's get started. So first let me tell you who I am. Of course, if you're connected to the channel, uh, you would be knowing me. I've done my MBBS from GMC Srinagar and I've done my MD from Ames. I've done my DM in cardiology from Ames. Now here are my ranks in the different entrance exams. I had a single digit rank in MBBS entrance exam, JKCT that point of time. I had good All India ranks in the MD entrance. I had All India rank one, three national uh, entrance exams for DM. The reason I'm telling you these numbers is not because I want to show off my numbers, but the point is that I am an ordinary student and I was able to achieve these extraordinary results. So that's the first point I want to make. That is, it's about your effort. It's about, it's about the input. Your input, your effort will be directly proportional to your results. You give in more effort, you will get more results most of the times, 99% of the times, right? Except if you're extremely unlucky. So uh, the point I want to make is that an ordinary student with an extraordinary effort is what it takes to reach these top ranks. So what does it take to reach Ames Delhi? What does it take to reach the top IIT college? What does it take to reach to do good for any field, wherever you're working? The point is that you have to give extraordinary effort. You may not have the extraordinary ability. You may not be a genius, whatever. In fact, genius, it's a myth. It's a myth. It's about the way you work. It's about the way you think. It's about your mindset. It's about your skill set. It's about your heart set. It's the way you think about yourself, right? So being extraordinary is neither sufficient. It's not necessary for success. To succeed in entrance exams, at least, you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be extraordinary. But your effort has to be extraordinary. So every time you look at the result, you look at the top rankers, All India rank 1 or All India rank 100 or 200, you know, th that person is not special. But that person's effort, his hard work is special, trust me. It's about the work that they've done. It's not about the person himself, right? Now, the next thing is self-belief. This is one of the, the, the fundamental mindset that you have to have. It's to, to have faith in yourself, believe in yourself. Look, your exams may be like one month away or two months away or three months away. And you may feel like little less confident about the success, about your results, about getting that top rank. You know, it's, it's absolutely normal, right? Because you're competing with lakhs of students. For, if you're a UG aspirant, you will be competing with 20 lakh aspirants. If you're a PG aspirant, you'll be competing with maybe 1.5 1, 1 or 2 lakh students. So the, the, that stress... That little underconfidence is normal, but the point is you have to trust yourself. You have to trust your hard work, right? So remember, you're not competing. I say this in almost every video. You're just competing with other students who have the same level of IQ, who have the access to same resources. So you are all the same. We're all at the same level. We have the same IQs, we have the same resources, the same videos, the same books, the same previous questions. Everybody knows what is going to be asked in the exam. But what makes the difference is your right attitude, the right mindset. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can have the top rank. Yes, you can make it to Ames New Delhi. Or you can make it to your particular dream college. Or yes, you can make that big in your life, right? Okay. That's point number two. The point number three that's, uh, um, uh, that I want to highlight is that this commonly you know, uh, used term called fear of missing out. Nobody misses out anything you know, given these uh, coaching uh, materials. Remember that every coaching is identical. Why? Because their resources are the same. Their own resources are, this, are the same. Right, take any coaching. What are their resources? Their resources are your previous year questions. You know, that's what they think. That's that's how any teacher will think. Like what is being asked in the previous year exams? That's one resource. Second, the standard books. So those two things are the same. So every coaching material has to be the same because the resource is the same. The, their, their original source is the same. Now, each coaching institute, each app, for example, will have a couple of extraordinary teachers and rest good, excellent teachers. But that is true for every platform. You will have very attractive teacher on one particular platform and then a different one in the other particular platform. But that will balance out. You will have a couple of extraordinary teachers in every app, every coaching institute. So please do not buy more than one resource. Buy one resource, read it, revise it, read as many times as you can. You will not miss anything. 
And um, the, 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 this point I, w I want to make because a lot of you uh, have uh, you know commented in the previous video that I have not uh, read anything till now. Can I start now? I have not revised half of my syllabus till now. Can I, can I aim for a good rank in the exam? Look, it's never too late. See, if you have two months, say, for example, for NEET PG exam or maybe uh, a few more months for your UG exam or whatever number of months you have, right, whatever short amount of time you have, if you give your best effort, if you give your best effort, if you give your best try, even if you don't succeed, even if you don't get a seat this time, but you will be on the right track, then after the exam, you've, you've, you've studied a lot of stuff and now it's time to gear up for the next chance. Right? You, you, it's quite possible that you might get a rank, you might get a rank, you might get a seat with just two months of reading. It's possible. It's not impossible, provided you work smart. Right? So it's never too late. And even if you don't get a seat in this chance, it will surely put you on the right track. The last advice I want to tell you, see some of you, uh, some of the audience, some of the viewers would be successful already. Right? Maybe you've cracked the NEET exam, now you are in, uh, doing uh, an MBBS. Or you've cracked the PG exam, you're doing MD, now you're thinking about super specialty. The point is nothing fails like success, right? Because see, if you're successful once, it is no surety that you will succeed the next time. Right, so you constantly need to improve. Getting into MBBS is not sufficient. You need to improve every day. You need to improve in the in the, in, the, in the next exam, in the next part of your life, right? So you need to improve every time. Being successful is no guarantee that you'll be successful in the next exam or the next phase of your life. So that's um, these were some of the things that I wanted to share with you people on this New Year Eve. I wish you a very happy New Year and good luck for all the endeavors in your life, be it an exam or be it any particular phase in your life. Thank you.